Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to toast the opening of the new Santasco General Hospital. Let us drink to its prosperity and to its generous owners, the South India Trading Company, and to the health of all the people of Santasco. Prost. Prost! Commander Raymond, I just cannot thank you enough. Without your help, none of this would have been possible. And if there is anything we can do for you... Mm. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I've looked around your hospital and it's lovely. Very nice. Very impressive. Ha! Guard, throw this man out. He's drunk. Well, wait, I haven't finished. The, the, the building is good, but the doctors, look at them. They're so naive, they don't know anything. We are trained doctors. Why call us naive? Enough. Enough. I don't know who you are, but all the doctors here come with glowing references from the best universities in the world. So what exactly is your complaint? It's not references. Hot! Hot! Hey, Doc, you're a little drunk. Let me take you home. Doctor? Yes, he is a doctor. Ah, I understand. You're worried that once our hospital opens, we'll take your patients. And you'll be out of business. Yes, uh, scum. Healing people is matter for the heart, but, not uh, the wallet. Uh, 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 somebody get this drunkard off me. Uh. Uh, put me down. No. Uh. Hey. Uh. Oof. Uh. 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 Mm, this is outrageous. Good day to you. Damn that drunken fool. Why let one small incident ruin the party? You did not handle the situation well, gentlemen. Hmm? He is a good doctor who has lived with these people most of his life. They trust him. He is like a family to many of them. But the man is a drunk! Why don't you try and find him a job at the hospital rather than make an enemy of him? But I... I see. Thanks for your advice, Commander. Hmm. Well, I like to do what I can. Now look, why don't you all go back home? The doctor is just fine. Please, Martin. We just want to make sure that he's okay. Yeah, that's yeah, right. We just want to see him. Oh, what not. the hell is all that noise? Hey, how you doing there, Doc? You feeling any better today? Oh, no, no. My head hurts. Do you think it'll get better? So long as I don't drink. <laughs> oh, or laugh too much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's Bazante. Hey, why did you hurt the doctor? Uh -huh. uh, what do you want? I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I hope you can forgive me. I bought you something. Hey. Sir! Oh, oh what an expensive bottle. It's the best champagne we have. And also a proposition for you, doctor. Uh? I would like to offer you a job, Dr. Timoteo. As vice president of our new hospital, I hope you will accept my offer, and we pay very well. <laughs> uh, you're overestimating me. Oh, no. You are greatly respected in the town, and the people trust you. Won't you join us? No, thanks. No? But why? Surely you can see this is a golden opportunity. I couldn't stand being ordered around by an old catfish. What? A catfish? Me? <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> damn him, damn him. I'll fix that drunkard once and for all. Tino, excuse me. A man was drunk and fell down the stairs over the hotel. He's in your surgery now. Very well. 
Doctor, how is the patient? He has broken at least three, maybe four ribs. It's causing very bad internal damage. His chances are about 5%. 5%? Right. Send this patient to the doctor in town. You can't. Move him and you make it worse. This is not your business. Tell the hotel clerk that we will send the patient to Timoteo's clinic. Say that our doctor is too ill to operate. Yes, sir. Good. Now, when you get to the clinic, this is what I want you to do. Yes, of course. I'll go too. I want to watch this doctor. And I want to see just what makes him think that we are so naive. I must go! Hmm. Okay. But he must not find out that you're a doctor from the hospital. Sir. Yes, his heartbeat is very weak. Martin, we'd better get ready. Yes, yes. Doctor! What do you think of this guy's chances? Oh, I'd say he's got about a 3% chance. Only 3%? Well, it makes no difference to a doctor. A doctor will do his best even if the chance is only 1%. Huh? Ma Martin, will you bring me some salt water and the fresh water? Just a moment. When I finish with this. Salt water? Well, I've had a little to drink. I need to clear my stomach. Oh, I see. Well, let me get it for you. Okay, be quick. Hey, what is that? None of your business. Don't get involved. Hmm. Here, some more. Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> Scalpel, Martin. What's wrong, Doctor? <laughs> Nothing. I'm fine. Doctor? Doctor, what is it? Hold on. Oh, oh. What is it, Lolita? Why are you so upset? It's Timoteo. He was so completely drunk before an operation that now the patient has died. What? Oh, no! Sergeant Gonzalez, what's going on? What do you think? We're closing up the clinic, Diego. Oh, no! Oh. Well, it could have been a lot worse. Commander Raymond, he was very generous, you know. He only took away Timoteo's medical license. He could have been sent to prison for a long time. Where is he now? He's inside. I'm sorry, Diego. What can I do? He won't come out of his room, and he says he will not see anyone at all. I see. Mm. Hello, it's a lovely day. Everyone despises me. Dr. Timoteo! Come on, let's get you up. Get, get off! Diego, leave me alone. Doctor! Doctor! I still don't believe a word of it, Diego. What do you mean? He wasn't drunk. If he had been, I would have known about it. But he had been drinking. Yeah, but under a half a bottle, not much for him. 
And he drank some salt water to make himself sick. You know how heavily he drinks. He couldn't get drunk on just that unless... Oh, of course. Those men who brought the patient must have poisoned him somehow. What men? Big, evil-looking men. One of them had a scar on his cheek just here. No. Well, well. What do you know? Mr. Fernandez in room 202. Yes, he's much better now. He can go home tomorrow. We'd better contact his family. Yes, sir. What do you mean you can't pay? But that's a ridiculous price just to treat a cold. Dr. Timoteo would have charged a tenth of that. You're charging too much. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Listen, you must have something that you can sell. That's enough. I won't have this behavior. Get out! Uh, oh. Remember, you get well paid because we collect the fees, Doctor. I know it's not much of a job, but someone's got to do it. Now get on with your work! Doctors don't need references. Parts, parts. Makes no difference to a doctor. He will do his best even though the chance is only 1%. Doctor! Dr. Lucino! Huh? Mr. Byzanti wants to see you! Okay, on my way. Uh. 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 That was Cabidao. Mm -hmm. I said I just saw Cabidao go in there. Mm -hmm. I said I just saw Cabidao. Mm -hmm. Business is going well, especially since the closure of Timoteo's clinic. In my opinion, it would be the perfect time to raise the fees, gentlemen. I see. Well, everybody needs medical care, so they'll pay the prices in the end. Yes. You want to see me? Ah, Lucino. I heard you were going to discharge the patient in room 202 without consulting me first. Yes. He was fully recovered from his operation, so there was no need to keep him here any longer. Idiot! You will always check with me. Uh, I just... How do you expect us to make any money if you send the patients home too early, huh, you incompetent fool? In that case, I resign as of today. It's not right to charge these fees. Most of the people who live in this area just cannot afford them. And as for Dr. Timoteo, I saw one of the guards put drugs in his water. What? I'll clear my desk and then leave. That man knows too much. Can you deal with him? Mm-hmm. Dr. Lucino, are you really going to be leaving us? Yes, I am. But what will you do for work? I'll get by, all right. Okay. Goodbye. Look after yourself. you want from me? Uh, if you'd kept your mouth shut, you could have lived in peace, Mr. Doctor. My hand! So now I'm gonna have to operate with this. Hey! Who's that? Zaro? Ha <laughs> ha 
Zaro, drop it. Drop your weapon or I will kill the boy. Byzante, you trapped Timoteo so that you could monopolize the medical care in San Tasco. Shut up. Who's going to listen to the words of an outlaw? Throw down your sword. Darling, Byzante, huh? our son, our son. What's happened, Louisa? Jose. Jose was out riding and he had a very bad fall. What? Jose? He's broken some rays and just gets worse and worse by the minute. Lucino, you must operate at once. I can't. My hand was badly damaged when your body got stood on it. I cannot do it. Oh. Aren't there any other doctors here? No, the other one is operating already. What about Jose? There's Dr. Timoteo. He could help your son. Not him. Why do you hesitate? What is wrong with you? Why can't we go to this doctor? What if Jose dies? Yes, you're right. We must ask Timoteo. Fat chance! After what you did to that poor man, why should he ever do anything to help you, you cheat? Bazante. <laughs> What has been going on? Little Zaro, that's enough. I promise I will bring Dr. Timoteo here tomorrow. Prepare your son for the operation. Zaro. What? My sadie's son? We must hurry. Come to the hospital now. Mm, no, Zaro. Doctor! See here, I'm just a stupid old drunkard. They took my license, remember? I don't believe it. There's a human life at stake here. Are you just going to let the boy die? Say what they like. I won't go. I once heard you say all a doctor needed was a heart. That poor boy's fate lies in your hands, doctor. Dr. Timoteo. Martin! Yes, yes, the salt water is ready. I knew you would not stand by and watch a small child suffer. There, he's come. Oh! Where is the patient? Inside. Doctor, if I can be of any help. Quickly, Doctor. We must hurry. Yes. Yes! It's taking such a long time. They've been operating for seven hours. Doctor, how is he? Yay! Dr. Timoteo, I don't know how to thank you. You should thank Zaro. He's the one that talked me into helping you out. Yes, I will. Everyone, it was because of me that Dr. Timoteo's patient died that day. What? Because of me? One of my guards gave the doctor a sleeping drug on my orders. And now, then now, this doctor I ruined has saved my son. I am closing the hospital as of today. Oh, well. Back to work. So, young man, what are you going to do now that the hospital is closed? I'd like to work at your clinic. You're joking. No, I'm not. 
I really mean it. You are a real doctor and I want to study again. I can't think of a better teacher. What do you say? Well, okay. Hey, maybe I'm gonna have need of another nurse on the team, eh? Look. What? Well... Hello, Dr. Lucino. Uh, hello. Uh, well, what do you say we all drink a little toast? Doctor, you really must try not to drink so much. Oh, uh, what are you saying? Alcohol is not good for you, Dr. Timoteo. It clouds the mind. You must cut down at your age. Well, oh, idiot. There's nothing better for you than a glass of wine. I say no more. Oh, I say no more, cheeky little thing. I won't let you drink. Oh, I'd like to see you stop that. Medical science is quite clear. Oh, medical science. Alcohol can only have a detrimental effect on the body. When Lolita meets a handsome stranger, she's convinced that she has finally met Zara. His courage and magnificent swordplay certainly back up her theory. But when Lolita gets captured by some evil villains, her dashing suitor comes face to face with the real hero and his loyal sidekick, Little Zaro. Can it be that finally Lolita discovers his true identity? Find out in the next exciting adventure of Zaro!